Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Recently, I created a video about my favorite items for my minivan camper conversion. I think I did my top 10 favorite items, but I got a lot of feedback because I asked if you wanted me to make a video about my favorite outdoor items for my minivan camper. And that was big yes. So here is this video and I will link the other video in the description of this one. But I am going to talk about just that. My favorite outdoor items for my minivan camper. And I will just as a reminder that my Amazon description list or my Amazon link list is in the description of all of my videos. And if you do not see an item on the list that I have talked about or that's in my van, it's because it's either no longer available on Amazon or I didn't purchase it on Amazon. Um, but I try and let you guys know. There are... I don't know, maybe a couple of items in this video that aren't purchased from Amazon, but I will let you know where I bought them from. So without further ado, like this video, and if you are new here and are interested in van life travel or hanging out with a dog while you do so, be sure to subscribe. Let's get into it. This is what a typical setup looks like for me, and let's just start right from the ground. I get a ton of comments on this rug that I have. I have owned this rug for a little over a year and it is considered an outdoor RV rug. It is 9 by 12 so it's absolutely huge but I opted for a big size because I wanted plenty of space for Winston to be able to play with his toys when we're camping on a rocky ground like this. So I purchased it from a small business vendor in Quartzsite, Arizona off of Main Street. The owners of the the business are named Donna and Carl and currently as I take this video in December 2023 they are located between uh, Woodstock Firewood and the Horny Toad and they have so many different options but I purchased their biggest one this was the only racing rug they had at the time and it was only $65 which is a great price for this type of rug so I did purchase it in person in Quartzsite it is 9 by 12 and I highly recommend an outdoor rug no matter what your situation is I have been using this small aluminum uh, folding table for a little over two years now. And as you can see, it is heavy duty enough to put a big water jug on it, but it is so useful for a variety of things. This fits in the back of my minivan camper because it folds up so nicely. I actually purchased this at Walmart. It is Ozark Trails brand, but you can purchase them on Amazon as well. I think they run about $35 nowadays in 2023. When I purchased mine, it was only $25. But gosh, I, I really think that you can find these anywhere. You might be able to even find one at like a garage sale or a thrift store such as Goodwill. But this table is just, it's just incredible. I use it all the time and it's so easy to put away and fold up and clean. This is technically two products in one, but I figured I wanted to include one with the other. So I suppose we will start with the bucket. So this is the collapsible bucket that I use. I think it's 2.6 gallons. Um, this is what I use for my shower water and I only use it for my shower water to make sure it stays clean and sanitary. So it does collapse and it has a handle. I collapse it into my rooftop box. I've learned over the years of van life that if you can get something collapsible, try and get it because it's awesome. And this is my shower, and I absolutely swear by this. So it's a pump shower. So when your bucket is filled with water, you just put the pump in like this. This is the battery, and this is the shower head. Now this shower is from Amazon, and it came with a traditional shower head, but this one is way better because it has the nozzle to turn it on and off, and it doesn't use as much water. Plus, since uh, the spouts are, the little holes in there are smaller, it's higher pressure, which is great for washing my long hair. 
So this is my portable shower that I've had for at least two years. And at one point I thought it stopped working, but the battery had just gotten wet. So I put it in the sun and it dried out and it was fine. Um, at the time, I it was around $40 to purchase. I think that it's still around that price and it comes with two batteries. So that shower honestly gives me, it, it feels like I'm showering like at a house. Like the shower is incredible. The battery lasts, it's easy to charge, it's inexpensive. I could not do van life without this shower and bucket. Piggybacking on my portable shower, I have a portable shower tent. Now this one is not mine, this is Maddie's, but it is currently set up and it's the one that we have set up most often because this one is very tall for him. But mine is essentially the same thing, it's just a little bit shorter and a tiny bit smaller. So same concept, same door, window, and everything. Mine is Wolfwise brand. It's green. You can see it on my YouTube channel, but it's lasted me three years without any issues. I even have a video on my channel about how to take it down and fold it up, but my shower tent, my shower, and my bucket are absolutely on top of my outdoor items list. This is not an item I use frequently, very rare occasions, like right now that we are, since we are at a campground, but Winston's wire outdoor playpen is fantastic because it allows me to increase his space and keep him safe without him having to be on a long line and he won't try and get out or anything like that. So I just kind of open it up and set his other play pen right there to expand his space. And you can get this sort of pet fencing so many different places, but I actually purchased this one on Facebook Marketplace for $25. So it all folds up and I fit it in my rooftop box, which is why I have these items out right now because since I don't use it often, I will put it back on the bottom of my rooftop box but if you have an animal companion with you i suggest getting one of these when you're in scenarios that you want your baby to have a little more space but they still need to be contained i have been using a collapsible playpen for winston since 2018 by far one of the best investments I could have ever purchased for van life. If you've been watching my videos, you know that this is really his safe space, his cozy space. I cover it all the time with a tapestry because it keeps the sun out of his eyes and I'm constantly adjusting it throughout the day, um, you know, for like wind, sun, all that good stuff. But inside of it, I put a bed and a blanket or towel or sometimes multiple depending on the temperature. During the summer, I'll put his cooling towel in it, but it gets plenty of airflow. It collapses down flat. The last one I had, I think it was, I think these run around $40 and I think this is the, like a medium size one, but they, they fold, they zip up and it's really awesome. I don't recommend something like this because, you know, it is fabric and, um, and mesh screening, so I don't recommend something like this if, you're, if you need to keep your dog in it and they like to claw and chew. It's not durable for that, but Winston currently just cleaning his toes likes it as his safe space, and this is something I use every single day for van life. This is a collapsible trash bin. Are we seeing a theme? I like collapsible items. This is how flat it folds down. And I purchased this one on Amazon. You can get them at Walmart too. But the I think the one that I saw at Walmart doesn't have the zip top. So let me pop it open and talk a little bit more about it. Here is the bin. It has two handles. It's very lightweight, but you do have to take care of it because, I mean, it is kind of cheapy, let's be honest. I think I purchased this for $12 on Amazon, but I like the zip top. And what I do is I 
put some bleach in the bottom like when I'm cleaning it out but I also spray my grandpa Gus mouse repellent inside of it and like on the bottom outside of it to keep the rodents and the animals out so the only issue I've ever had with this is I did have what was probably a raccoon literally unzip the top and get into the trash but when I put the grandpa Gus repellent on it I noticed I didn't have an issue so that's when I started using it so it uh my trash doesn't often like smell to be honest with you but it's great and you can hose it out clean it out it's cheap and then it folds down and I stick it in my rooftop box y'all know how clean I am and it was actually a trip to Mitri Lake earlier this year that I realized I need a broom if I'm going to have a rug this big, especially because after it rains or if I get like lake water on the rug, it dries really quickly because we're in Arizona and then I have nothing to clean it off. So I got this broom and it's a retractable broom. So this is how it fits in my rooftop box because it's nice and small and then it retracts. And all you have to do is tighten it and then it stays up. So this retractable broom is something that I purchased on Amazon, of course, link in the description. Last but absolutely not least on my outdoor items list is this Kajaro camping chair. Now, this is not the cheapest camping chair. I got it on Prime Day for about $43. I think right now it's around $55. Of course, I was able to get it in my color, but my friends Yellow Wolf and Justin actually introduced me to this chair. I love it because it uh, has a great back and it's a little bit larger than your standard like cheapy Walmart camping chair. It has two cup holders. Oh, I just bleached this. I guess I got to wipe it down. It has a big cup holder and a smaller cup holder, which I really like. I can put a drink in one and my phone in the other. It also has this side pocket, which is great. It has the zipper and the two mesh pockets. It does lock open and it locks closed. So it's a dual locking chair and it has this strap for carrying. So I love everything about this chair. I highly recommend it and you can get it in several different colors. I hope this video was helpful to you all today. Um, I will be sure to pin a comment on this video with the Amazon list of items that I showcased. Um, I think the only thing, well, I didn't purchase my rug from Amazon. I didn't purchase the wire play pen from Amazon, but whatever I did purchase from Amazon, I will pin in the comments and remember that my full Amazon list is in the description of every video. If for some reason I'm going through my links and the item is no longer available, I will link to something that is extremely similar or comparable to that item. And also recognize that when you're shopping at Amazon, if you click on an item maybe that I post and you're like, oh, maybe I want something kind of similar but a little bit different, on your shopping page where it shows that item, if you scroll down, it will show related products and uh, it's easy to browse that way. So I hope that it was helpful and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I will see you next time.